living in today's video we're going to do a full moon and gemini tarot reading just going through the energies what i'm getting and let's get into it so a couple of things i was picking up with is this energy is like intensity but it's not like supposed to be intense but okay it's intense but there's a reason for it if it's intense for some people at this time i have to I know it's hard to relay it, but that's the best way I can relay it at this time. So when I was preparing for this, we got the Lovers Reverse coming out. This just flew out. I'm pretty sure when I picked this deck up to work with this one. And it's funny because when I was picking this deck up, one thing that happened was I went for the Rider Waite deck and then it was a change in path and direction of choosing this one. And that's one thing I mentioned before. But this is... Um, the love is reversed which is a disconnection from people it's removing people it's um it's making a choice it's making a choice at this time and this card is also about gemini the lovers so could be a lot of things happening in our partnerships at this time and oh three swords <laughs> that's heartbreak <laughs> there was also another thing when i picked this deck up was a new romantic cycle begins was on the top of my deck like this and this is an indication to me that there is perhaps a lot of themes around relationships making choices for new partnerships and what is happening within our partnerships is kind of like a big theme at this time so this is also bring like balancing the scales and this is kind of like karma too so that's also another thing cards for the collective for this full moon in gemini another thing too i was picking up on was like glitter it's very mischievous and cheeky with gemini energy okay these cards just flew down the star reverse is something we haven't healed from or usually i read this as like oh yeah this is usually like something out of reach but it's like this is in reach at this time the four of pentacles is a releasing and letting our guard down Five of Wands is conflict and competition. I would just be careful of like some sort of, some people putting you in a situation where you need to almost compete or there's a lot of angry energy. Knight of Wands is also giving me that energy that's passion, creative and pursuits and moving towards things. Don't get caught up in the complication of things and the arguments of things because Gemini has a good way of kind of storytelling and this is one direction but there's another direction and i think that's the one thing that's coming through for the collective is what direction are you choosing when there's this thing going on are you listening to your thoughts are you listening to the way you speak to yourself at this time judgment releasing a sense of judgment once again gemini is also all about like it's like a mirror Gemini is like a very like mirror kind of sign so releasing judgment and it's also there's a lot of complications coming up if you don't move towards that passion or a, that um pursuit but another thing too like I feel like I'm mumbling on my words and having a hard time even communicating it's giving me the sense of some people who don't see the higher perspective and aren't I guess you could use the word awakened are having these complications and there could be an argument if you aren't seeing the spiritual aspect of this situation and something's in reach but you need to release and open up because that could be causing some complications here I want this card <laughs> five of cups reverse is once again this is what happened and now I'm looking at the future and I'm not going to regret those things that I have done to get here. It feels like, once again, when I tap into the collective energy at this time, it's 444 on my timer, it's very much, can you forgive at this time? Can you see it from a higher perspective? Can you look at these trials and tribulations? And I think 
one thing we're learning as a collective at this time is forgiveness and moving past that. What's going on around this Gemini full moon for the collective? But once again, I saw like a starry night sky, which is, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that before. And we have the star here, which is giving me like, there's so many, I'm hearing shoot for the stars and reach for the moon. And if you don't land on the moon, you reach for the stars. <laughs> reach for the stars is what I'm getting. Like, once again, that could also be Sagittarius energy. Like, reach. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Reach for the stars is kind of the message. And that came out with the Four of Pentacles reverse. If you don't get what you want, that can be a blessing sometimes too, is what I'm what I'm feeling when I tap into that. What's happening around this um, Gemini full moon? I have this weird feeling I said such a terrorist full moon before. What's happening? The King of Cups reverse. That's an ignoring of our emotions. I'll just be a little bit cautious for the collective at this time around ignoring the emotions. Because maybe you're getting angry and maybe you're in this scenario where there's a lot of conflict. Just beware of looking at things and not seeing the higher purpose and spiritual purpose. Because if you, it feels like we might be getting ourselves in a lot of conflict if we aren't working through our emotional state at this time. Two of Cups is partnerships. Once again, that energy became came out before. Okay, I'll just be a little bit wary around bonding around people who you can't, where you want to ignore an issue, so you go connect with other people. So that I'll just be a little bit cautious of that because there's like a bit of a conflict going on at this time. I'll just be wary of that. The High Priestess Reverse is a revealing of the truth. It's a revealing of, um, it's a revealing of the truth and it's seeing things. But once again, it's blocking out that spiritual as aspect. It's not tapping into our intuition. It's not kind of like feeling and going with the flow. And this is a partnership, around partnerships. Two of Cups is partnerships. So I would just, um, watch out around the truth in our partnerships and connections at this time and creating unions around that because we don't want to almost feel our feelings and get lost within our kind of group that's kind of what i'm getting i think there's like a lot of wounding kind of energy i'm feeling with the star reverse like i haven't healed something What's going on for the collective at this time? For the full moon in Gemini energy. Once again, it's like in your face, but it's like this energy, but it's like very, it's there, but it's not completely there, but it's in your face. Knight of Pentacles is long-term goals and moving slowly. power is needing to break something down that's also a quick change i do want to say if you at this time if you were like i'm once again that energy of like i'm heading in this direction i'm heading in this direction this is the long-term thing i wanted to do it's almost like gemini full moon is kind of like no that's not where you're going break this down rebuild it and see where else you can go because it's almost like a destruction and now it's like okay this is what i want to do long term this is kind of what i want to go do that's kind of what this gemini full moon energy is really feeling like at this time it's kind of like this energy of like can you see things from a higher perspective around this gemini full moon and can you bond and connect with people in a more intimate way instead of ignoring one thing too i want to feel like saying is um when the way people speak and that's very much gemini energy and it's it just got really shadowy <laughs> be 
careful of what you say and what you speak and speaking is going to be very important around this time but it's more so someone might say something and you're kind of it clicks for someone else or you say watch watch out for what people say is technically the main message here we have two of pentacles reverse making decisions around what we don't want long term is this kind of energy here we have eight of cups which is all about walking away and trying to find something better we're making choices and walking away and wanting to find something better emotionally and once again eight and two create the ten of cups two of cups is over here two of cups is over here this is that partnership energy of like not connecting on an emotional level and feeling very shallow and seeking for the truth gemini is all about the truth and it's also what truth and story do i tell and who do i want in my story and who aligns with my truth and what emotionally doesn't make me feel good in connections at this time and what is the point of truth within that feeling of that connection that doesn't make me feel nurtured and in a connection and the eight of cups here is like i'm starting to make a choice what i don't want long term around this gemini full moon and it's kind of like this big tower moment has happened to the collective of like i wanted to go here and, and it's like no you're not going there you're actually heading over here now and it's kind of like well I wasn't expecting that and it's kind of like a shift in the way you see and perceive things within the story of life around this Gemini full moon and once again I feel like there's a lot of could be a lot of conflict if you aren't awakening to and you might want to change the word to awakening just to awareness if you're not aware of the conflict and this kind of boiling energy is kind of what I want to say. I'm going to pull, um, this will be my last pull. And then I'm going to get into the Oracle cards. So Gemini full moon. The world is completion. It's also being fixated on something. We're completing a cycle of something that we're fixated and it's also the outer reality kind of world. So what's happening in our outer reality world? Hang on, opening up. I'm getting off this energy that how open can we be in order to be free and that's very much Gemini energy and that's kind of the message I'm getting for Gemini full moon is how open can we be and what's going to set us free are we willing to face that endings don't necessarily have to be bad and this is like wounds this is a it's like a completion of a wound and letting that open to the public. And I feel like it's going to be a lot of complication, a lot of friction for the people who can't do that. Eight of Wands is speed and rushing. As soon as you... I think the people who are going to be very open at this time, who have been through this, who have accepted endings and cycles and have healed from their wounds i feel like one thing i'm getting is there's a lot of good things coming for you but i'm also getting is a lot of people are going to be coming for you either good or bad and how i'm seeing it is kind of like sheep's wool when you when you put a sheep's wool out and you lay it you got to pick some of the negative stuff out of it so there's a lot of things coming towards you for some people in the collective could be you but um it's like what's good and what's not good i'm getting like all that we sow isn't always going to be sweet it's kind of like okay there's candy cool now sort out the sour ones from the sweet ones that's an extra message I'm getting here for you. Okay. Gemini full moon messages for the collective. Gemini full moon energy for messages. Step out of your comfort zone. I'm telling you, there's something around you that will cause you a lot of conflict 
if you aren't willing to be honest, if you aren't willing to go within and face this kind of internal struggle. And I think a lot of people might be going towards connections and needing to figure out what emotionally doesn't feel good within those connections and finding that honesty within that connections. And once again, Gemini's are the twins. It's, it's, it's like an internal relationship. That's kind of what it's like. Step out of your comfort zone. That's also about karma, which I was talking about before. I'm going to take this one. Balance spirituality and practicality. So Pisces is a completion of a cycle and also there's the full moon, but it's a very spiritual base. I'm telling you, see things in a spiritual space, go with the flow and don't stick in these kind of like partnerships that aren't awakening to your truth is what I'm getting. The energy is gaining momentum, but it came out in reverse. Another thing too that <laughs> I'm realizing is, yes, a lot of people in the spiritual community are like, delusion, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm getting to that point where I'm like, sometimes our fantasies and the way we portray things onto the outer world I'm also hearing be soft, so be soft towards these people. How much can you forgive? But, um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but it's very much that energy of like, yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say. Step out of your comfort zone and how much can you go with the flow? How much can you release control? Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> One thing I'm learning is like, delusion is good, but is it coming from a place of control? And sometimes delusion is good, but we need to go within and be honest with ourselves to almost gain these new things and these fruits of the labor. And I'm getting this, I'm seeing this key and it's clicking in and it's like, aha, it's clicked. The door's open now. So that's what I'm getting. Like maybe things aren't moving as fast as you want because you're not in the flow and you need to step out of your comfort zone and go towards something else. Once again, feeling your emotions. Water is all about feeling your emotional state. And that's what I'm getting here for this Gemini full moon. Some advice. Um, I'm going to let whatever wants to come out from this deck. Gemini full moon energies. What do you want to say around this? Okay. I feel like this is important. Have you asked your angels for help with this? You know what it's giving me? I reach out. I reach out and I get slapped. I get slapped just for reaching out. But I'm hearing it's a lesson. Cancel, clear, and delete. And once again, one thing I would portray and see this as is maybe because you're reaching out and you're getting slapped is because it's triggering you to realize what you want in your truth. And authentic self use only positive words and thoughts as they are re rapidly manifesting into form which is very Gemini energy using your words to speak your manifestations what you speak will be very important around this Gemini full moon it can break things and it can make things ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking whoa that card just went with the winds throat chakra <laughs> well that makes sense for this gemini full moon the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth what truths do you have to speak and see speak your truth and see what ends around this time speak honestly and don't please people because once you please people this full moon is going to clear all the things that are going to be aligned with your truth and you're going to be stuck in those situations. That's, that's just one thing I could see this energy portraying as like be honest around this time because when you are honest you find those people and this full moon will remove the people who are not good for you. But if you aren't willing to tap in with your truth you might just end up getting rid of something that's really good for you. I feel like, I feel that strongly. I don't know why I want to say around love, but that's what I'm getting. 
There's this weird loving energy here too, but um, I might pull a card for love. A message for love for this full moon in Gemini, for the collective. Love for the full moon in Gemini collective. You and your loved ones are safe, Cancer. That's all about security, safety, and needing to change the approach because when I think of a crab, I'm thinking of it walking sideways. Um, it's a water sign. Once again, going with the flow, tapping into our emotional states and starting something new out of safety and our comfort. Be bold and make the first move. How confident are you in starting something new? The, the struggles are done in love. That's what I'm getting. But um, I hope you enjoyed this Gemini full moon tarot reading and oracle reading. And I hope you got something out of this. And those are the energies I'm picking up for the collective at this time. Once again, it's very much seeing things and awakening to our truth, which makes sense because that's very Gemini energy. It's also having that aspect of finding emotional truth within ourselves through the people we are connecting with. That's what I'm also getting like. Something might be triggered in order to find the truth within ourselves. And once again, this full moon is like, listen to people. Once again, listen to people and listen to truth within yourself. Don't get also, I know I just said listen, but don't get caught up in other people's. I'm hearing Nana like talking. Don't get caught up in that because you need to stand in your truth and you might just create some bonds with people that you might not intentionally want to do because you aren't in your honesty. And I think communication and being truthful with yourself is a very big thing within partnerships too. So um, that's just Gemini full moon reading. And then I just explained at the end that little more details about Gemini full moon. So I hope you enjoyed this. I do more spiritual content and I mostly do a lot of collective full moon kind of energy things going on on this account. So have an amazing full moon. And once again, stay honest to yourself, speak your truth, find those connections and don't get carried away in what I'm hearing is the Nana. So <laughs> happy Gemini full moon. Yeah. Yeah.